Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to Shadow of the Storm quest guide. Now for this quest, you are going to want 30 crafting and be able to kill level 100. Uh, the quests you're going to need are Demon Slayer and the Golem. I put uh, two annotations up on the screen right now. If you guys don't have this quest done, these will link you to two guides that I've made of them. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have annotations on or if you're on like a phone or whatever, you can check in the description and there will be links there as well. Now for the items that you're going to need, you're going to need 600 coins, maybe 400, depends on how many trips you make. Um, that's just for magic carpet rides. You're going to need a silver bar, a pestle and mortar, an empty vial. Uh, you're going to want silver light, and you're going to want three pieces of black clothing or armor. Now if you're just looking for the quickest way to get three pieces of black clothing, I would say get a black wizard hat from Betty and Port Sarim, and uh, get a priest gown top and a priest gown bottom from the clothes store in Varrock and just move on from there. Now I recommend you get uh, some Alcarid Teleports, some Water Skins, uh, very good food, and Prayer Potions. This demon hits hard if you're a low level. If you're not a low level, you should have no problem, um, but yeah, be careful. You will hit hard. Alright, let's move right on. Now, uh, so just start in Alcarid. Make your way over to the uh, the bank area, a little bit south of the bank, you'll see a person and a quest starting icon on your map. Talk to Father Reen. Said he's looking for OS quest guide. Hey, wait, that's me. I'm sure he'll say your name too. So you can skip all this dialogue, and eventually it'll start. And Reen will want you to speak to some dude in Oozer, so make your way to Oozer. Go through the Shantae Pass. You can actually travel on the Reg Merchant once you have the Golem done, and you can just uh, travel to Uzer for 200 coins. Now you just gotta walk a little bit south, and uh, yeah, you'll be there. Talk to Father Baden. Say Reen sent me. And tell me more about Agrithnar. Then, uh. Make sure you go through all the options. So say Reen sent me and then tell me more about Dinath next. And say, how can I do that? Now check your uh, Shadow of the Storm. If you've gone through all the options, it should say this. I need to infiltrate a group of dark wizards led by Dinath. If it doesn't, keep talking to him until it says that. Anyway, go down here and back to the good old black mushroom. Now you'll pick one, use the uh, pestle and mortar on it, and you'll get the black ink. Now use the black ink on the silver light and you'll dye your silver light. Now you need to have your black clothing on for this. I have like mine boots, the hat, um, the priest gown top, black dehyde, and black van race and everything seems to work pretty well. So say you want to go through the portal. He says this is our portal, go away. Now say I want to join your group. He says they're evil, so respond with I'm evil as well. I'm like 100% sure that Evil Dave is like how we acted when we were like 12. Like, I bet you if we were 12 and going through this quest for the first time, we'd probably relate to this guy the most. Anyway, a short little cutscene will go through, and you know, I'll be talking to Dinath. He'll say, oh, you wish to join us? Blah, 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 blah. Here's some persuasive stuff. And, uh... Ask him what do you have to do. Alright, so you see this incantation? Write this down real quick. You definitely need this. Mine is going to be Terran, Camarinthum, Kaldar, Agrithnar, Nahudu. You need this, guys, so pop open the, the notepad and just write that shit down. Otherwise, you're going to be pissed when you get to the point where you need it and you have to fucking backtrack. Alright. Now he's going to tell you to make your own demonic symbol. Not too bad, just got to go to this girl and talk to her. Talk to Jennifer. Find her in here somewhere. Now say, uh, do you have the demonic sigil mold? Sigil? Probably? It's probably sigil. She'll say, yep, and she'll give it to you. Now go to Alcarid. You can walk there, you can teleport to Lembridge, you can glory, you can ring a dueling, doesn't really matter, just get there. Now there's a furnace in Alcarid, and that's what you're going to want to use. 
you're on dead man mode, maybe you don't want to go to this furnace. <laughs> but if you're doing this quest on dead man mode, I'm proud of you anyway. Alright, so your silver bar that you have, make sure you have that and the mold, and you can make a demonic sigil. Sigil. I'm gonna say sigil. And then you can, like, sit there and play with it if you really want to. But it's not necessary right now. Alright, let's get back to Oozer. We need workout music whenever I speed up the clips, I'm telling you. I get so many views. Anyway, I'm gonna take the Reg Merchant and take a magic carpet ride. But really, though, can you imagine that? Some really fast BPM workout music. That's how I get the views right there. Every time it's fast forward. Alright, make your way back to the portal room. And, um,. I messed up a little bit right here. You don't need to talk to anybody except Matthew next. So talk to Matthew. And say, yes, I suppose I am. You'll find out something about Joseph. So ask, say, do you know what happened to Joseph? And there's some dialogue. You can read it if you're interested in lore. Alright. So basically, it says that Matthew tried to uh, steal a book. Or not Matthew, um, Joseph tried to steal a book. So head back outside the ruins, and your next order of business is to talk to the golem. So talk to the golem, and ask him if he saw anything last night. Um, if you want to, you can run through all the options just to be safe. I have a habit of running through all the options anyway. So, but all you need to do is say, did you see what happened last night? Alright, now the book is in one of the four kilns that are around here. Broken kilns, they're all over the place. Um, just search them until you find them. I only had to search two, so unfortunately I don't have the other two on here, but just look around the camp for them. There are four. Can't be too hard to find. Anyway, when you get the book out of the, the broken kilns, uh, read through it real quick, go all the way to the last page. And then head back down and talk to Joseph. Not Joseph, I'm sorry. Talk to Matthew. Talk to Matthew about Joseph. Joseph is dead. That was, that was very morbid. Anyway, back here talking to, to Matthew. You get to tell him that, uh, that Dinah killed Joseph. Now, there was something in that book that you will need. Um, inside the book there is a cantation, or an incantation. You'll need that a little bit later. Alright, so right here guys, I paused the video. This is the last chance to get the incantation, so you need it right now. Not the one in the book, but the one that you got at the beginning that you wrote down. So if you needed it right there, that was your time to sit and say, I need it, or I forgot what the incantation is. If not, well you may have to ask him right now. Anyway, you're going to leave the incantation. That was probably hella confusing, but... Yeah. Anyway, from whatever you have written down, chant it. And when the incantation is over, you'll see uh, Deaneth walk into the center, and he disappears. And you'll get a short cutscene, everything starts going crazy. Everybody freaks the fuck out. Now the only thing you need to do is make sure you don't forget that uh, that sickle that's in the center. Pick that bitch up before you leave. There you go. Now go out through the portal. You'll see Jennifer get killed, or I'm sorry, Tanya get killed by uh, by ghosts. Pick up her sickle. And talk to Evil Dave, you'll find out that Eric just died. You can see him laying on the bricks right there. Um, tell Evil Dave he has to get back there. Say that you can kill him. You need to have an inventory space open for this. Another spot that I, that I may have messed up at a little bit. So I'm going to drop my vial, because I don't need it for the rest of the quest. So, make sure you have one inventory spot full, or one inventory spot open. Then talk to Evil Dave. Say so you have to get back to the throne room, and he will give you Eric Sigel. Now that you have all three of those, you need to go back upstairs. That's actually pretty cool. 
As far as RuneScape comes and goes, like seeing a sandstorm like this is badass. Anyway, you need to talk to the three people out here. Both uh, fathers, or maybe one of them's a brother. <laughs> and the golem. Anyway. There you go. Say, oh, don't be so simple minded. Of course, I'm choosing the wrong options first, because that's how all of my quest guides always are. Anyways, when you say don't be so simple minded, he'll go in and then talk to Father. Now talk to the Clay Golem. Now the problem with this is that you already programmed him in the last quest, saying that the demon was dead and that is no longer the case. So he's going to, or say I could just reprogram you again, and he says maybe if you just take out the old program I can get back to doing what I was supposed to do. So you know that uh, that strange implement you guys got last quest in the like the northwestern edge of the room. You got to go back down and get that. Now you can skip the last step and uh, just pick it up before ever leaving this area. But I didn't have enough inventory space, so pick it up now. Go back outside. You're gonna use the strange implement on the golem, and you're gonna remove the old uh, programming. Now once you do this, you're going, to be need, you're going to need to be prepared to fight, boys. And the demon is not an easy target. He will fuck you up if you're not careful. Anyway, use a strange implement on him, and he'll take out the paper. And then you'll end up giving him a sigil, and he will go down there. Here is your chance. If you need to go back and rebuy shit, do it now. You can't take the magic carpet, though. Um, you'll have to just teleport, and then come back. Anyway, once you're ready to go... Hop right back on down in here. Now the incantation I was talking about that's in the book, that's the one that you will need to, uh, to do now. So open up that book. It's on the second to last page, I believe. Yeah, right there. Second or third to last page, even. Mine's Nahudu, Agrithnar, Kaldar, Kimrintham, Terran. It should be the exact one that you gave, except backwards. So anyways, talk to Matthew and say yes. You're going to end up taking Deaneth's spot. Is that how you pronounce his name? I've only seen it like fucking once. Anyways, when you get to the spot, start the incantation, and as soon as you do, homeboy's gonna spawn out and he's gonna be pissed. Alright, boys. Monster is kind of a bitch to fight, only because he teleports you to him, and he does magic and melee. So, he's mad. Basically, turn on Prey Mage, and he's gonna teleport you to him. Turn on uh, left click uh, primary or left click uh, when available, and just keep running away from him and just hit him as many times as you can. Just keep that Prey Mage up, boys. Other alternatives, you could like hide behind things and try to to save spot them every now and again. If you don't have prayer, bring ring of recoils. They're gonna save your fucking life. Also, if you die in here, you cannot get your shit back. So don't bring graceful or things like that. So get his health low with whatever method you want. You're going to need to deal the last uh, hit with the dark light. It does not have to be the special attack. So as soon as this health gets low, switch it out to the dark light. And it doesn't matter if you pray melee because you'll just mage you instead, so you might as well just keep mage on. And then you'll cast the or hit the final strike with the dark light, and that'll be quest complete. And now you can choose what skill you want to get experience in. Don't do defense if you're up here, obviously. I think I did ranged. I did it range, magic, or hit points. But I'm pretty sure it was range. My indecisive ass. There you go. And you get 10,000 experience. Just like that. So that's quest complete, boys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, you know how to leave your support by leaving a like and a comment. Otherwise, though, make sure you subscribe, and I will uh, see you guys all in the next video.